God bless you, my family in Christ. I wasn't planning on making a video today, but God sure was. Amen? God sure was. This is not a regular video. Um, I feel that some breakthroughs are going to come out of this video for God's glory. Amen? Praise His beautiful name. Man, I feel the power of the living God. Wow. Jesus is awesome. Hallelujah. He is powerful. He is mighty. Uh, guys, I want to thank you for stopping by here today. The, there's two brothers in the faith right now that need prayer. One being Christopher L. And the other one being the Watchman 777. My friends, uh, the enemy is looking to tear down so many things. The enemy is out there like a roaring lion. Trying to destroy us and trying to bring us down with anxiety, with fears, with worries, with doubts. And we all at one point in time or another fall victim to this. To the enemy trying to destroy our peace in our households. But today in the name of Jesus we come understanding that there is one who conquered Satan on that cross and that is Jesus Christ. Not only that but the word of God says that he is like a roaring lion. He is not one. He is a pretender. He likes to pretend to be things to try to come against us and try to take away our peace. But the word of God says in Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving. Present your requests to God. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding. Will guard your hearts and your minds with Jesus Christ. My friend Jesus came to set us free. Jesus came to give us peace. The enemy has come to steal that peace. The enemy has come to bring division. The enemy has come to take away that joy that we have of Jesus. But there is no devil in the world. There is no demonic principality that can come in between the blood of Christ and us. Because the blood of Christ has already been victorious in us. Because the word of Christ, the blood of Christ, the word of God is with us. Man, Jesus is good. Last week I went through so much turmoil, but it's made me stronger. And maybe you're going through some turmoil right now, but I encourage you, my friend, and lift that head up. And I encourage you right now to join me in prayer and worship, because Christopher L and his family need this prayer. And the watchman and his family need this prayer. You might need deliverance from this prayer. Let's come together right now, my friends. Wherever you're at, lift your hands up. Let's start praising God. Just start thanking Jesus for what He's done in our lives. We thank you, Jesus, for being so merciful in our families, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, because although we go through things that we do not understand, we trust you so much, Jesus, that we know that we're in good hands. There's been times this past week where we may not even thought that we could make it. We've been tempted by the devil. We've been brought down by the enemy. And many times we've tried to fight this fight on our own. And it was at that very moment that we tried to fight on our own that we recognized that you've already won on our behalf. And we started resting in you. Father, we just come before your presence just thanking you. Thanking you, Jesus, for accepting us. We don't deserve this. We don't deserve this privilege of coming before your presence. And thanking you, Jesus, for our victory. We don't deserve this. We don't deserve anything. Oh, heavenly God. Hallelujah. We lift up Brother Christopher L. Lord. Father, I see so much of me in him. He's been hurt, Jesus. He's gone through a lot in his life, Lord. Many people thought he wouldn't amount to nothing. And he probably still is so hard on himself. That he doesn't see what God is doing in his life for others. 
Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we all come together praying for Christopher L. Praying, Heavenly Father, that you may supply his needs. Father, you know how much he loves your word, and you know how much he is concerned about that issue that he's dealing with. We pray that you may give him peace and understanding tonight, Lord. We pray that you may help him and his pastor come to a common ground. We pray, Father God, that you may open doors in his ministry, Lord, like never before. We pray for his children, Lord. We pray for his entire family, for you to cover them with your precious blood. We pray for him, Lord. Chris, I love you, man. And Jesus loves you too, my friend. Jesus has a huge calling for your life, man. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Galatians 5.1 says, Amen. We're free. Let's live like it, man. Let's keep on seeking Jesus, my friend. We want to pray for the watchman. He put a video response on my channel. On a video where it says that that Christ is always there for us. And when I saw this brother, this brother in tears because he's going through a difficult situation, it broke my heart. Because it's in times like that that people like to laugh and some people just turn around and keep on walking. Some people say, oh, he's just not Christian enough. He's just living in sin and that's why he's like that. But Watchman 777. All of my subscriber base, all of us here in YouTube, all of us Christians want to let you know that we're here for you, man. We know that sometimes we have to go before God and cry. That doesn't make us any less of a man. We know that it's hard for you, my friend. I know that sometimes it feels like no one listens to you. But I want you to know there's one that's been listening to you. And that is Jesus Christ. That he has never failed you. He's never lost a war in his entire eternity. He's not going to start losing it now. He's got everything under control. Jesus has everything under control. Father God, I want to pray for all of us, Lord. All of us that are here right now going through so many difficult temptations. YouTube can be a very tempting place. So many false prophets, so many false teachers, so many mockers, legalists. And so many who say that are Christians but are so from from it that it's not even funny. Heavenly Father, we pray for the youth. We pray for all of us here. That we may continue to seek your will, Lord. That we may stop the divisions and understand that there's no divisions in Christ. Jesus, we love you. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your grace. We just thank you, Jesus. We just thank you. My friends, may God bless you guys. Love you guys a lot. I don't know where God's going with this video, but it's what I felt from the Lord to do today. May God bless you, my friends. Pray for my friends, okay? God bless.